Hello, and welcome to a brief overview of the interior of the Earth, the plate tectonics theory, and the legendary Canadian who changed the way the world saw itself. To begin, the interior of the Earth is a multitude of many parts. These parts include ridges, trenches, the mantle, and the crust. The mantle is the level after the crust. This deep into the planet, we find a layer of plastic and mostly igneous magma at a layer called the asthenosphere. Convection cells at the asthenosphere eventually rise to the surface and create cloud formations that release warm air. The plate tectonics theory plays off the theory of continental drift by German meteorologist Alfred Wegener, but is independent in its own right. The theory was invented by Canadian John Tuzo Wilson. Wilson was greatly intrigued by Wegener's continental drift, and was one of the few people at the time who believed in the unpopular theory. By creating the plate tectonics theory, he sparked interest in the concept once again, and becomes the reason for modern geology and meteorology. The plate tectonics theory suggests that beneath the lithosphere of the Earth are 20 or so plates that collide and grind against each other to shape the planet. Some of these are the Eurasian, Australian Indian, Philippine, Pacific, North American, Cocos, Caribbean, Nazca, South American, Scotia, African, and Antarctic plates. There are three types of tectonic plates, convergent, divergent, and transform. When convergent plates collide, they either crumple into mountain ranges or collapse into trenches. It's because of convergent plates we have Mount Everest and the Marianas Trench. This process is called subduction. Divergent plates behave similarly, but they lead to the creations of high places such as volcanoes and low places such as underwater mountain ranges. Transform plates grind against each other and cause earthquakes. In conclusion, the plate tectonics theory by John Tuzo Wilson contributed much to modern geology and our understanding of the planet. Thank you for listening.